Hello everybody, it's Chris, and welcome back. So yes, I'm uploading a lot of videos because I have finals, and I'm not really going to have that much time to upload it on my schedule or non-schedule, whatever you want to call it. So I'm just uploading all these. Um, or maybe I spray some, I don't know what I did, maybe I did, maybe I didn't, I don't know, let's see what happens. But anyways, today, uh, we're going to be reacting to six creepy kids who remember their past lives. And I truly believe in reincarnation. I believe that I was reincarnated. And I might have sound a little cuckoo, but I don't know. Maybe, I don't think I was reincarnated. I probably would have remembered by now, right? Maybe, I don't know. I don't know how that works. Maybe one day I'll find out. But anyways, we're going to get into this. I've never seen this channel before. What is it called? Smart is the new sexy, which is true. And we're just going to see what happens watching this. Alright, let's see what you got for me, banana. Six creepy kids who remember their past lives. Uh huh. Reincarnation is a fascinating subject that has remained on the fringe of scientific it study has. for too long. Fortunately, it has recently begun to attract serious interest from the scientific community. It would be Amazing very interesting. Like, how many times can you researchers have taken it upon themselves to study this intriguing and Hopefully not with human subjects. At least from a materialist scientific worldview phenomenon. The interesting thing is that 100% of subjects who report past life are children. Are children. Yeah. The average age when they start remembering their past Six? life is at 35 months. Oh, wow. And their descriptions of events and experiences from their are past really life detailed. are often extensive and remarkably and then I probably wasn't really We smart as the new sexy collected six stories that will make you look at this world differently. Okay. Right. Yeah. Number six, Sam Taylor. Born 18 months after his paternal grandfather died, he first began recalling details of a past life Is when he was just a year old. When he was one and a half years old, he looked up as his father was changing his diaper and said, When I was your age, I used to uh -huh. change your diapers. He began talking more about having been his grandfather. He eventually told details of his grandfather's life that his parents felt certain he could not have learned oh, from wow. the means. Such as the fact that his grandfather's sister oh. had been murdered, and that his grandmother had used a food processor to make milkshakes for his grandfather every day at the end of his oh, life. Oh wow! Pretty remarkable, isn't it? But that's kind of sad, though. Number five, Ryan, a boy from the Midwest. Ryan's story began when he was four years old, when he was experiencing frequent horrible mm -hmm. nightmares. Once he turned five, he made an announcement to his mother. He told her. I used to be somebody else. Oh, wow. He would often talk about going home to Hollywood and would beg his mother to take him there. Oh. He told her detailed stories about meeting stars like Rita Hayworth, dancing in Broadway production, and working for an agency where people would frequently change their names. He even remembered that the name of the street he used to live on had the word rock. So was he an actor? So he decided to check out some books about Hollywood from her local library thinking that maybe something inside would catch her son's attention. And it okay. did. Cindy said that once she found the below picture of the man Ryan claims to have been in his past life, everything oh changed. God. They decided to seek help from a famous psychiatrist who took on the case and started his research. Uh -huh. After only approximately two weeks, a Hollywood film archivist was able to confirm the identity of the man in the photo. The picture was from a film titled Night After Night, Night. Night. and the man was Marty Martin, who had been a movie actor get and later became a powerful Hollywood agent before passing away in 1964. Oh, okay. Martin had in fact danced on Broadway, worked at an agency where stage names were often created for Oh, nice. Traveled overseas to Paris, and lived at 825 North Roxbury Drive in Beverly Hills. Huh. Unbelievable, huh? But that you can have a future Shania again with that Maniwa. if you wanted to. Shania is a boy from Thailand who, when he was three years old, uh -huh. began saying that he had been a teacher named Boy Ka, who had been shot and killed as he rode his bike oh, to wow. school. He pleaded and begged to be taken to Boy Kai's parents, who he felt were his own oh. He knew the village where they lived and eventually convinced his grandmother to take him there. According to their research, his grandmother reported that after they got off the bus, Shania led her to a house where an older couple Aww. lived. Shania appeared to recognize the couple, who were the parents of Bua Kailana. 
A teacher who had been shot and killed on the way to school five years before Shania was born. The fascinating thing is that Kai and Shania had something in common. Kai, who was shot from behind, had small round Oh yeah, they the say that reincarnation, like your birthmark, is the way you died. That's why Shania I look at birthmarks kind of differently. A small round birthmark on the back of his head. And a larger, irregular okay, yeah, that does it. That looks weird. Sorry, Number weird. Three, the case of PM. PM was a boy whose half brother had died from neuroblastoma 12 years before his birth. Oh, so his brother was diagnosed after he began limping and then suffered a pathological fracture on his left. So they have two he sons, to biopsy one of a nodule on his scalp, just above his right ear. And received but the first one is kind of sad because they lost the grandfather, but the grandfather kind of took the reincarnation of his life. Was, it's kind of sad, but not sad and weird. Born with three birthmarks that match the lesions on his half brother, as well as with a swelling one centimeter in diameter above his right ear and a dark, slanting mark on the uh -huh. lower right interior surface of his neck. He also had what's known as a corneal leukoma, which caused him to be virtually blind in his left eye. As soon as PM started to walk, he did so with a limp, sparing his left side. Uh -huh. And at around the age of four and a half years, he spoke to his mother about wanting to return to the family's previous home, oh, wow. describing it with great accuracy. He also spoke of his brother's scalp surgery, even though he had never been told of it before. These guys are really kind of creepy. Number two, Kendra Carter. When Kendra began swimming lessons at the age of four, she immediately developed an emotional attachment to her Okay. Coach. Shortly after she started her lessons, she began saying that the coach's baby had died and that the coach had been sick and pushed her baby out. What? Kendra's mother was always at her lessons, and when she asked Kendra how she knew these things, her reply was, I'm the baby that was in her tummy. Aww. Kendra went on to describe an abortion. And her mother later found out that the coach had indeed had an abortion nine years before Kendra was Oh, wow. Kendra became happy and bubbly when she was with the coach, but quite otherwise. And her mother let her spend more and more time with the coach until she was staying with her three nights a week. Oh. Eventually, the coach had a falling out with Kendra's mother and cut off the contact with the family. Kendra then went into a depression and did not speak for four and a half months. The coach reestablished more limited contact at that point. And Kendra slowly began talking again and participating. That would be activities. really bad for like the parents Number who, because now you have two parents, but they're leaning one case, to the ones in the James past. Was That's a bad. Old boy from Louisiana. He believed he was once a World War II pilot who had been shot down over Iwo Jima, uh. an island that the United States fought to capture in 1945. His parents first realized this when James started to have nightmares, waking up and screaming, "Airplane crash!" And oh. on fire. He knew details about the World War II aircraft that would be impossible for a youngster to know. For example, when his mother referred to an object on the bottom of a model plane as a bomb, she was corrected by James, yeah. who informed her that it was a drop tank. In another instance, he and his parents were watching a documentary, and the narrator called a Japanese plane a zero. When James insisted that it was Tony, in both cases, James turned out to be right. James also insisted that in his previous life, he had flown off a ship named the Natoma, which, as the Leningers discovered, well, true. was a World War II aircraft carrier. James said that his previous name was also James, and shockingly, in the USS Natoma Bay Squadron, mm -hmm. there was a pilot named James Huston, who had been killed in action over the Pacific Ocean. Ask yourself, how could a two-year-old in yeah. Louisiana remember being a World War II pilot shot down over the Pacific? What do you think of all these stories? Well, banana. Do you also remember something from your I don't. Life? Please share your memories if you do. And remember to click subscribe. All right. So, first of all, there's a lot of questions going on. Is it sad? Is it not sad? Is there things that you remember and things you don't remember? It would be pretty interesting if people we didn't know what happened to them came was reincarnated. Like people who like actresses like Marilyn Monroe, um, like I mean A Hart was reincarnated and we found out what really happened. That would be really interesting. Um, it is, however, pretty sad some things. Um, there's signs apparently that you've been reincarnated. I don't think I have those signs. Actually no, this one I do. But either way, I might watch that one next. I'm not sure. I like this channel. Anyways, 
let me know what you guys think if you guys believe in that. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see all you guys strange and beautiful people in the next video. Bye.